everybody. Welcome back to The Five Savages. I'm Abby, and I am posting today on a Wednesday. Shout out to Leisha for trading me days because I was extremely busy throughout the week, so I could not film, edit, or do anything on Monday. So here I am on a Wednesday. Hi, guys. So this week is Tags Week, and I decided I am going to be doing a book tag. <laughs> Who would have guessed? And just because it's easiest for me, and it was the first thing that I could think of, so... I'm going to be doing the rapid fire book tag, which I just have to answer 20 questions um, about books, and I have to answer them as fast as I can without even thinking about it. So I got my questions ready here on my phone, and I am ready to go. The first question, ebooks or physical books? Physical books all the way. They look very pretty on my shelf. I love the covers. I love touching them. I just love the feeling of pages. Just, uh, I love them. Paperbacks or hardbacks? Hardbacks. Even though they're more expensive, they are worth the money because I don't have to worry about the spine getting crinkled, they don't get ruined as easily, and they just look so much prettier on my shelf. Online or bookstore shopping? I would have to say bookstore shopping because even though it is more expensive that way, it's just, there's just, you just get that feeling of being surrounded by so many books and it's, oh, it's such a great feeling. And then when you get to a bargain book section, oh, honey, oh boy, am I there. Um, trilogies or series? I would have to say trilogies. Um, it really just depends on the series. Like, the series has to be really, really good in order for me to keep reading it. But I lose interest, honestly, after a while. The series keeps going on and on and on because it's like, I get it already. Like, just end it. So, yeah, it just really depends on the series. Recommend an un underrated book. Uh, Wonder by RJ Palacio. It's going to be a movie coming out later this year, I believe. So, I believe it's going to be this year. The movie trailer's out. If you have not read the book, pick it up and read it now. The last book that you finished. Oh boy. I have not been able to finish a book in months because I keep like starting a book and then stopping. So, I honestly think the last book that I finished was Last Night I Sang to the Monsters, which is months ago. But I could be wrong. Because, like I said, I kept starting and stopping books because I've been in a really bad reading club. Anyways, yeah. The last book you bought. I would have to say The Story of the Land and Sea, which is on my September book haul, my main channel, so go check that out if you want. Um, the weirdest, the weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. I would have to say a hair tie. Or no, I used dental floss one time as a bookmark. I was just like, yep, that works. Um, use books, yes or no? Yes! Always! Top three favorite genres. Fantasy, sci-fi, and historical fiction. Borrow or buy? Buy all the time. I like having my own copies. That's why I really check out books at the library because I just like owning my own copies. I, it's just a stigma that I had. Characters or plot? Um, I think they both really matter, so I can't pick just one. Um, long or short books? Um, for, for my reading slump right now, I would have to say short books, but when I'm in like in a really like okay, now I'm really in, like, reading mode, I can do this, then I'd have to say long books. Name the first three books that you can think of. Wonder by R.G. Palacio, um, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Books that made you laugh or cry. A book that made me laugh would be The Abundance of Catherines by John Green, and a book that made me cry would have to be A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Our world or fictional world? Fictional world all the way. This world sucks. Let's all go into Harry Potter land. Audiobooks, yes or no? No. I hate being read to. I just, no. Do you judge a book by its cover? Yes, we all do. If a book, if the cover's ugly, I'm not going to buy it. If it's a beautiful cover and it looks amazing, then that's what makes me buy it firsthand. Sometimes I don't even read the synopsis. I just think, ooh, pretty cover, mine. Um, book to movies or book to TV show adaptations? I would just say book to movie because for a TV show, you can only stay with a book for so long before you have to make changes, and that's what I really hate. Um, if I really love a book, I want it to be exact, so, which movies don't even do that, but movies have a better chance to do it than TV shows do, so I have to say book to movie. A movie or TV show you preferred the movie? Um, I guess I would have to say Vampire Diaries. Uh, yeah. I didn't re watch the show, the whole entire show, but from the episodes that I've seen and the book that I read, I prefer the TV show over the book. Series or standalones? Um, I would have to say standalones just because um, it gets really boring when it goes on and on and on. But then again, it depends on the author and it depends on the writer. So, yeah. Alright, I'm out of breath because I answered those really, really fast. But that was the rapid fire book tag. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, subscribe to all the girls and the five savages. 
I will still leave my main channel down below. I'm currently not making any videos on my main channel, but if you want to go subscribe to see when I will make my awesome return, um, which hopefully will be soon, then you can do that. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!